Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing an unboxing and demo of my red iguana purchases. I purchased the half hand, the full hand, the short stand and I received some chrome powders and I also purchased the nail beds as well. I'm going to put a clip in to show you how much I paid for it. Um, I didn't have to pay customs which was great um, and it took about 14 days from ordering to receiving so that's how much i paid for it i'm in the uk um so in the box comes a discount code which anybody can use that's what i used as well and instructions the, that was the half hand it comes with a little blingy ring and I purchased the half hand in the colour, I think it was Lisa, or Liza, Liza, there it is. It's the poseable hand, so, um, you know, you can bend it. Guys, the detail is just amazing. Really, really, really good. I've been wanting one of these for a while now. I have got another hand that I bought from a company over here, but it's nowhere near as good as this one so I thought let me just try on the ring like everybody else does <laughs> and then the full hand again comes with the instructions and a discount code and this one comes with a bracelet and a ring and this was in the color Lucy so you can see a slight difference in daylight you can see it a little bit more And that is also the poseable hand. And that is the the right hand that I got. To be honest, I didn't really think about, oh, should I get the left hand or the right hand? I just got two um, right hands. And these are the nail beds. And what I like is that they all, they only sell the nail beds that fit with the actual hand, which makes sense. And they go in really deep as well. The, one, the other hand that I bought from over here, um, they gave you like a whole packet of nail beds and half of them don't even fit, which didn't make sense to me. These were some double sided nail kind of tip stickers, which I thought, oh, let me use that because I didn't want to use glue. Um, but it doesn't stick onto the silicone. So here I am trying to stick it onto the nail itself. And then I have a bit of trouble getting off the other side of the plastic because um, I know you can glue them on, but I don't want to do it and ruin the hand so I thought let me just try it um to be honest the, the even without it they kind of stay on pretty sturdy but I just thought that might just give it an extra bit of um sturdiness whilst you're filing um yeah you can't see it but what I was trying to show you is that the each each um tip has a a letter on it so it's got p for pinky f um sorry p for pinky and i for pointer or p for pointer and i for pinky and then it's got middle finger and ring finger as well so you know which ones go where but you couldn't see it on the video i have sped this video up because it it was pretty long and i wanted to just you know shorten it as much as I could really so that's the short stand there they do have a, a longer one but that was out of stock um and the reason why I bought two hands is because um I thought let me get the half hand to do the actual practicing on and designs on and then the full hand I'll use it to um you know display and and take pictures so it comes with a sticky the bottom of the stand is really sticky, so don't throw that plastic bit away because if you do and you put it in a bag, it will probably get fluff on it and become non-sticky, you know, so keep hold of that. Also, um, another reason why I bought the shorthand, or sorry, the half hand, is because I heard and seen on some videos that um, the full hand is quite heavy and it doesn't hold onto the stand very well. It keeps flopping forward. But the half hand holds on to there quite pretty well. And um, this was the Galaxy Powder. It looks silvery, but when you rub it on, you can see it's holographic. 
So I thought, let me do my first set using this powder, of course, which was nice, nice little gift. So yeah, like I said, bear with me guys, as um, I'm not great at editing. <laughs> um, but yeah, how are you guys doing? Um, you know, drop me some comments. Let me know how things are going for you. If you're new to doing nails, if you've recently qualified, you know, let me know where you did your training, how it was, if it was online. So I'm just here, I'm just obviously, I'm just roughing up the the nail beds so that I can stick on the tips and you'll see that I have a, a bit of, um, you know, a, oh sorry, yeah, my nail tips are from Jellica Gel. So I kind of, I'll leave all the description of where I got everything from um, in the description box. My, um, I do have a little bit of issue trying to stick the nails on but I think that was more because I didn't um you know sand it enough so it was still a bit smooth so yeah so obviously I haven't put any videos out for a while and I have actually done videos to upload but I haven't got a good editing I'm doing everything on my iPhone so I haven't really got um a good editing app um, the one that I use is a bit temperamental. So if you know any good iPhone, I've got iPhone Max, um, the newest one. So if you guys know any good editing apps, drop me a comment. Let me know um, any suggestions. Um, so, yeah, I did my training. Training was good, but I would say that you know to me it was online obviously because I did it whilst we was in lockdown I did the the a gel course the acrylic application course the design um, acrylic design course and the e-file training as well and the health and safety one um, and the barbicide training as well which was online um, as for for the you know, for the acrylic training, I, I just think, you know, nothing beats classroom or one-to-one -one training. So, um, you know, I, I will still go back to learn one-to-one -one, because there is a nail, nail artist that I follow and she's absolutely amazing. You should check her out. Her name is B underscore Stockwell on Instagram. She doesn't have a, a YouTube, but her work is just like nothing I've ever seen um and she does do one-to-one -one training she's not doing it at the moment but I would really really love to have her you know have do her training so um whenever she opens that up again I'll wait till I'm at the top of the queue because I know she's got a very long waiting list so yeah I'm just here I'm just um um prepping the tips just sort of giving them a little shape up I've cut them down a little bit. I was going to do them full length, but I thought, no, I'll just, you know, I'll just do them a little bit shorter. These tips are so good as well. They are, um, they're called the tapered, extreme tapered square tips from Jellica, Jellica Gel in the UK. Um, I mean, I don't know, they're like, they're probably the same kind of shape as coffin coffin nails but um but yeah i do like them though um <clears throat> and they're really sturdy they're not you know you know you get some nails that are bendy they really bend easily and stuff now these are really sturdy and they're so clear as well like glass <clears throat> so i'm just blending the tip to the nail bed the you know the plastic nail bed fake nail bed whatever you want to call it um yeah the reason why and also neither of these skin tones of these hands are my skin tone i think the one after um lucy would be my skin tone i think that is i think it's called 
and Elisa or something. I'm not too sure. But um, the reason why I didn't get it is because I remember seeing a few videos where people that had got those darker skin tones said that the dust shows up more. Um, but, you know, if I was to get any other, if I was to get any more, I'd definitely get it anyway. But for my first two, I, you know, I thought, well, let me not get the ones that show up dust as much. But to be honest, um, at the time of me posting this video, it's been, it's not even been a week since I've had it. I've used it twice. Um, and, you know, it does show dust you have to obviously wash it with soapy water warm soapy water and let it air dry but yeah it still kind of does show dust but i guess it's because it's silicone but it is a really good quality silicone and it it feels weighty as well like the half hand you know it's got a good weight to it it's not like you know flimsy um it took me ages to to apply um, the acrylic because just purely because I was just trying not to get it um, on the actual hand itself and I was just trying to be really delicate with it because um, my other hand like I said that I bought over here that it served its purpose in terms of I used it when I was first training I've had it since I want to say like November December time and and yeah but it's it it wasn't a poseable hand um it was from glitter planet and yeah it, you know you get what you pay for it's it's not it wasn't a cheap hand either i think i paid um probably 90 80 to 90 pounds to for it but the quality of the silicone is completely different to ready guana hands but I'm glad that I bought that one first because I would have been pissed if I had gone straight to this type of hand and like fucked it all up sorry excuse my French because I'm yeah I'm not trying to it, it's not cheap you know so the cover acrylic I'm using is from Glitter Bells and it is called Peach Bell Soft and the acrylic brush is a number 10 also from Glitter Bells. I've actually just ordered a Kiara Sky one because um, I've heard quite good things about their um, products. I've got their, their drill. My old drill was um, a Melody Susie and Again, it served its purpose. Um, but when I got this Kiara Sky one a few weeks ago, I, I was so amazed at how quiet it was. I couldn't believe it. It was just like, wow. And the vibration, Every I suppose every nail job is going to have some type of vibration. But in comparison to my Melody Susie one, it is almost like nothing. So, yeah, that was really good. Um, I'd like to try their cover powders as well. They've got a new collection of cover powders. But, you know, I'm someone that, um, you know, since I've started doing nails and training, I have so much Glitter Bells stuff. Like, I've got loads of the cover powders their core powders sorry i've got colored acrylics and pre-mixed um glitter powders acrylic sorry and yeah i need to work my way through those first because i have bought loads over the last several months um so yeah i'm just here i'm just shaping up the nails a bit more and I was really trying not to file it and touch the sides of the nails of sorry sides of the nails sides of the silicone fingers either because I was just like I'm really trying not to <laughs> I'm really trying not to damage this hand but the stand is really good 
Um, I, I did, I think, I'm not sure if, I can't remember if I did put the other hand on it in this video, I'm not sure, but I know I did definitely put the other hand on it and it just kept kind of flopping forward because the other hand, because it's a full hand with a bit of a wrist, it's a lot heavier. So I saw a video where um, somebody demonstrated both stands. I can't remember, it was on YouTube, I can't remember. I was just looking through loads of videos before I bought it and it just kept flopping forward and she said you know she recommends maybe if you can get two then get the half hand and you know the shat the either of the stands will be fine for the half hand but if you are getting the full hand then you know it may not it may or may not work for you but I I don't want it kind of flopping forward every minute my old hand did that it wasn't a it wasn't this type of stand I can't really describe it it was a suction so it didn't it wasn't sticky at the bottom you just had to kind of wet it a bit and it would suck onto the table but the actual mechanism it was like a it had like a screw so the tight the more you screw it it's the tighter it becomes and um over time I don't know how it's loosened, but it's, it doesn't stay tight anymore. So the hand just keeps flopping forward. So, yeah, I'm just going over the shaping. I'm still, you know, I'm still a beginner. I'm still learning as I go. I've had, I've actually had a couple clients, um, but where it's not my, I don't do nails full time because I work. And I also, if you saw my previous video, I explained that I'm a competing powerlifter as well. So I train during the week as well. So it's quite a lot going on. Um, and I've got a competition coming up in um, in July. So I'm kind of, I'm training for that at the moment. So I haven't had as much time to practice and do clients but after my comp in July I hope to be able to to have you know I'd like to kind of build up um a client base um I've had people book appointments and then cancel I don't take deposit as yet because I just thought where I'm new let me just try and you know trust people but yeah if if it gets to a stage where people are just wasting my time, then I will um, do a booking system where they have to pay like a small deposit. So yeah, as you can see, I'm trying to get as much dust off the hand as possible. I probably should have, you know, um, washed it and stuff but I was just being lazy so I just wiped it down so that was um, Glitter Bell's gel called Papillion pa Papillion I think it was I'll list it in the description box anyway and it was sort of a sort of a milky pink um, so I thought I'd put that on and then put the chrome on top of that But yeah, I'd love to hear some suggestions, some advice, you know, just we all keep it positive here. So, you know, if let me know, like I said, let me know if you are going to be doing training and who you're going to be doing your training with. Or if you have done it and how's it going for you, drop your Instagram tag, um, you know, Mine's at Mimi's Nail Nook on Instagram. So I was just curing the polish, wiping off the sticky layer. And now it's time for the chrome. It is such a nice chromey effect as well, it really, really is. can't go wrong with a bit of chrome I think it 
So also, I'd like to know, you know, what brands you guys use. You know, is there a particular brand or are you just someone that just buys, you know, you haven't got a particular preference? I kind of, I've got a lot, a lot of, like I said, I've got a lot of glitter ball stuff and I've got a lot of loose glitters from A&A Glitter. Oh my gosh, they are amazing. Their glitters are just, I've got a drawer full of their glitters. Um, so yeah, I will definitely be doing some, dem not demonstrations, but be doing some sets using, getting to use their glitters as well. So yeah, I'm just using my piercing tool to add some jump rings and it is quite it's, it is really um fandangly <laughs> to to get them on so again if anyone's got any suggestions i know some people will use a drill but sometimes i think does that make the, the hole too big or not uh, maybe i need to just buy like a cheap small you know drill bit to i mean the actual tool it does make the hole pretty quickly and goes through the acrylic pretty well but it's like the hole is too small for the actual jump rings you have to kind of wiggle it around and faff, faff about with it to get it in I think that's, did I get both in? Yeah, it's both in. So now I'm using No White Hollow Top Coat from Glitter Bells, just to add a little bit of sparkle. So it's just, it's got, it's clear with um, sort of holographic glitter, little glitter, holographic glitter sp specks in it. And I thought, perfect for this set. And I was going to do this bit first, then put the jump rings in. Um, but I thought I might clog the holes up. But yeah, this is pretty much the end of my video. You will see the um, finished result in a moment. Thanks for watching. Tune in, leave me a comment and stay blessed. Bye. <laughs>